Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I've got a special for you. We're gonna take a dove into the technology of neuromonitoring and how they actually find and detect nerves in the body while they're cutting, because you don't wanna cut them. Once you cut them, there's no fixing them. So let's take a look and let's see what this strange little instrument, the neuromonitor or NIM, let's see what it looks like and how it functions. So this little guy right here sitting on top, it's about the size of a little 13 inch TV. This is called a neuro monitor. You can see it's just got a pendant that plugs into the back in which they plug these little tiny little needles. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. These go into the patient's skin at known nerve locations and what it does is it transmits an electrical signal through the body where it's detected at another part of the body. Very similar to continuity checks, the beepity beeps on this guy here. You see, nerves transmit electricity via high frequency pulses and this guy sends out a high frequency pulse to find out where the nerve is going, exactly like a continuity check. You can see when you boot it up, there's a series of different pre-programmed cases. So let's do a thyroid. You can see here, they show you a visual demonstration of what the pendant should look like and where you're going to place the nerve detections, which here they're using a very special endotracheal tube, which has got the electrodes already implanted into the tube. So you just have to make sure that the tube is in the correct place and then it will pick up a signal. And that brings me to this guy. This guy here is a simulator. It basically simulates the body. This guy should accompany this guy at all times because what you have to do is you have to plug these wires into here and then you have a probe that will plug into these, it's a disposable, and you touch each of these little ones here, and it will verify on the screen, let's see if I can show exactly what we wanna do, and this is what your monitoring screen will look like. You hear that little pulse, pulse, pulse? That is the unit sending out a signal on here and trying to detect it, it sends it out Check electrodes. It sends, the, it sends out the signal on these guys here and it's detected here on the electrode pencil. So let's take a look and see what it looks like when this guy is plugged in your simulator. Here you can see I have the simulator plugged into the pendant, which comes up here, and this is the monitoring screen. So I'm gonna simulate what it should do, and I've got this little needle right here. This normally plugs into these guys, but I, I currently have it plugged into the stem to behave like the consumable pencil because I don't want to open up a pencil. And before every case, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hook your, your pencil up like this to the stem, and then you're supposed to touch. And what that does is it verifies that this guy and this guy are absolutely fine. Now you heard that there's two different tone differences and the reason that there's two different tone differences on this guy is because that's channel one and channel two. You can see right here, channel one, channel two. Now I currently only have it set up for two channels right now, but based on the procedure, you can have as many as eight channels. They almost never use more than like two or three but we have the option of eight channels, depends on what they're gonna be dissecting. So why would you wanna do neuromonitoring? Well, you're gonna go through all this hassle, and mind you, this device is very expensive. I think this guy right here is about $60,000, if I'm correct, and it's, it's just unbelievably expensive, and so are the repairs. But the reason you want this guy in your inventory 
is because if you're doing, let's say a thyroid, when you're dissecting this area right here, they're gonna have the nerves already marked out with these needles. So when you're cutting tissue, they're constantly probing around the area to make sure that they're not cutting a nerve. If you cut a nerve, it's permanently damaged and around the thyroid especially, if you cut the wrong nerve, you could technically kill a patient or you could permanently paralyze them. So that's why they're very, very cautious. So this guy here, it also comes with this pickup. Now this pickup, it's like a standard induction clamp and it will fit over your ESU lead. So while the doctor's cutting with the ESU, it shuts this guy off, shuts the monitoring off anyway, so that it's not going absolutely crazy and driving the doctor crazy. So this guy right here is called an induction pickup or an ESU pickup lead and it plugs in on the back of the machine. Every time this guy's inspected, remember, you're gonna use your simulator, you're gonna connect it up here, and then you're gonna plug in your pencil, and then you're gonna to touch each of the channels, and you should have two to eight channels, depending on the procedure that you have selected. So here you can see the procedures. There's a lot of settings. We don't need to know what they are. We just have to know how to go in. You can see here, we have four channels on this procedure. Going to monitor. Now I have four channels. Let's take a look and let's see what that sounds like. So we know that the pendant is good. All this cabling is good. We know that the pencil, the sterile pencil is good, which is most important. And it's almost exactly like when you use your multimeter, you should always check the leads by putting them together before you start doing continuity or current checks. That's exactly what this guy does. So that's neuromonitoring in a nutshell. It's very expensive. We do take care of it and we can fix these guys. Now there's just a couple things I want you guys to take notice of. Here on the back, you can see that there's normally a space for a fuse. You can open this guy up right here and replace the fuses. They're very, very tiny, sensitive fuses. And the reason for that is because if you inject current into the nerve on accident when it shouldn't be, it'll pop the fuse instead of letting it travel up to the machine or vice versa to the patient. So that's what this guy does. It's the pendant. You have the, the simulator. You have the ESU induction probe and you have the main unit. That's neuromonitoring, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a little, little tutorial on one of the more unknown devices that we find here in the operating room. So I hope you really enjoy. I'm gonna be trying to do material like this a little more often.